guys, I'm Derek Ledemeyer, and today we're going to look at ARIA, just for the simple reason of loading up some custom cabinet impulses in Overloud THM. It's the only way I know of right now to really be able to load in some custom IR files to replace your cabinets in uh, iOS at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to give you a walkthrough on this. Uh, just watch the directions, watch what I'm doing. This should run smooth for you with no problems, all right? Once you've downloaded iFunbox, make sure it's the transfer system and that you're not downloading some kind of porn. Go ahead and open it up. Make sure your iPad is connected to your computer. Okay, and we're going to go up to the top to Managing App Data. Okay, it should pull up a list of your apps here. We're going to go into ARIA. And here's all your files in ARIA. Okay, we're going to look for IR files. Okay, so once you've found your IR files, go ahead and open that up. Now you don't want to delete anything out of here, you don't want to take anything out of there. Okay, what you want to do is you want to copy from PC. Okay, and you go to where you have your cab impulses or your IR files saved to your computer. You just select those and open, and they are put into your IR file folder. In Aria. Once that's done, you can close out of that and you're good to go. The first channel, okay? We hit our effects, and in the top slot of the effects here, I've loaded up Overloud THM, okay? I've got a heavy 51 US in here, okay? I've got my drive set back, uh, bass up the middle, mids pump just a little bit to about six, treble to about six, presence at six, and the volume at six. Now, the overall level is set at zero straight up in the middle, okay? I've got a noise gate on the bottom and a couple overdrive pedals that I don't have hooked up. I just kick those on if I want to play like some crazy leads or something. Okay. Notice I do not have a cabinet loaded. Okay. This is all you need for this section. Let's go to the next slot. This next slot we're going to use our convolution reverb. Okay. Tap over here and as you remember earlier we imported the IR files into our IR files for the convolution reverb. All right. Scroll down to the bottom, you'll find them here. Okay, so we pick a file. I just happen to like this Soldano for this uh, particular piece I was doing today. It's got this really cool Lynch tone to it, so. This is important. Your size all the way up, offset all the way back. Delay all the way back. Make sure you put this in low CPU mode so you don't get cracks and pops and hisses. Okay, put your mix all the way to the right, the same with your output. Okay, this is how this needs to be done. Next in the chain, I throw a stereo chorus in here. Okay, you can see the settings here. I don't throw a lot of effect on this. Okay, this is just enough to smooth everything out and make it sound nice and neat. Down here on the bottom is a stereo delay. Okay, you can see the settings here. This gives a nice effect. Okay, if you're wanting to do, you know, rock, 80s, 90s, hair metal type stuff. This is a killer sound for you, okay? Uh, it works just about, you know, for everything, too. I mean, I just happen to be a hair metal fanatic, so.
I assign this to a subgroup, okay? So we go over to our subgroup one and look at the effects in here. In the top, I've got a pro EQ, all right? What I've done is I've dropped this low shelf here and I've dropped the highs off here. I'm sitting at about 20 and 10, okay? You want to drop these down. This just cuts out all the sound out of here and all the frequencies over here that you're not really needing, okay? Because all your sound for your guitar is right about in this middle section here, okay? This leaves room for some highs for some other instruments, some lows for the bass and whatnot, okay? Below that, I threw in a PSP old timer, okay? I put in the Gently Weeps preset, and all I did was I bumped the valves up one notch, okay? This here combined with your signal chain in the guitar panel is going to give you a really nice rounded out professional sound for studio recording or for live play as well okay <laughs>